What's going on you guys? Today we're going to be learning the song Beautiful Crazy by Luke Combs. Real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. Capo, fourth fret. Also, I should mention that this song is in the 6-8 meter. Just keep that in mind. We have six chords in the verse. We start with a G major chord. To play a G major chord, you're going to place your middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. Your first finger on the second fret of the A string. Your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And your pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string. That is a G major chord. Next we have a D over F sharp. To play a D over F sharp, we are going to place our first finger on the second fret of the G string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and our middle finger on the second fret of the high E string. That's your normal D major chord. To make it a D over F sharp, what we're gonna have to do is wrap our thumb around the second fret of the low E string. And that's a D over F sharp. So then thirdly, we have an E minor seven. To play an E minor seven, we are going to place our first finger on the second fret of the A string, our third finger on the third fret of the B string, and our pinky finger on the third fret of the high E string. That's an E minor seven. Next, we have a normal D major chord, which is just like the D over F sharp, but without your thumb having to be wrapped around. Then a C major chord, which will be played by putting your third finger on the third fret of the A string, your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and your first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's a C major chord, and then you go back to a D. So the whole chord progression is a G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, D, C, D. Now for the strumming pattern. The strumming pattern is a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. That's a very common 6 8 strumming pattern. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Now with the chords G, D over F sharp, E minor 7. Do that with me. G, D over F sharp, D minor 7, D, C, D. Do that with me one more time. I should mention that the intro has the same strumming pattern, we just stay on a G major chord. Chorus time! We start off with the same G, to D over F sharp, E minor 7, D, C, D. But here we tack on another chord progression to finish out the chorus. We go from a G to a D over F sharp, E minor 7, but the G and the D over F sharp split a measure, so it sounds like this. And the E minor 7 gets the whole strumming pattern. Do that with me. One more time. Then right here we go to an A minor 7. To play an A minor 7, you're going to place your middle finger on the second fret of the D string, and your first finger on the first fret of the B string. That's an A minor 7. And then the final chord is a D over F sharp, which we just strum downwards once. So you have. So that second half of the chorus will sound like this. G, D over F sharp, E minor 7, A minor 7, D over F sharp, and then you go back into the intro. So the entire chorus will sound like this.
into the intro. Muy bueno. So right after that, we do another verse, another chorus, and then we're into the bridge. The bridge's chord progression is as follows. A minor 7 to G, C, back to G. A minor 7, G, C, D. So A minor 7, G, C, G, A minor 7, G, C, D. I'll play that for you. Do that with me. Then the final chorus changes slightly from its previous counterparts. Right after the where's her heart on her sleeve part, we do it. A minor 7 to G this time rather than D in the first two choruses, then to C, and then to D. So A minor 7, if she's crazy, if she's crazy, but her crazy is beautiful to me. So A minor 7, G, C, and then finally D, rather than just A minor 7 to D there. So it just extends it slightly. And then we basically do a verse for the outro where we're going G, D over F sharp, E minor seven, D, C, D. And then we land on the G. So if I do that entire last chorus for you, it'll sound like this. And that is how you play Beautiful Crazy. If you have a song request, please comment it or DM me. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit the bell. I sincerely hope that you're well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching Logan's Lessons.